귀찮으죠 모든 경기들에서 이거 하나 때문에 세트를 내지는 경우도 있어요 쓸만하긴 했거든요 세이빙 오! 잠깐만요 설마 설마요 으아 레이지 아츠까지 이거 거의 풀 데미지 일손 천격 우다다다다다다다다다다 메쌍 잠깐만 What is up guys, it is me, your boy Kwis, and before we get into this video, just a few bits of housekeeping. Uh, first of all, look at how close we are to 10k. Look, look at it. Everyone, look now. Look, look. So yeah, we're, we're quite close to 10k at the minute, and I'm very happy about that. Um, you guys have been supporting amazingly recently, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, so a little thing about that as well. So because I've missed so many subscriber milestones, I missed like doing a 7k, an 8k, and a 9k. I'm trying to catch up on that. So one thing I'll actually be doing is I'm going to be doing a, a Q and A, um, and how that sort of work. If you guys follow me on Twitter and on Instagram as well, I'll post on my story, and you guys can just ask your questions you know if you want to do on the twitter that's fine over on the instagram that's fine I'll leave, there'll be links in the description and everything so you guys just go to those and you know post your comments there and then yeah question and answer video for you know i know there's a lot of new people coming through you don't know anything about me you want to know more that's fine q a video going up uh you know once we get all that sorted and i'll also be doing um another twitch highlights video um you guys seem to like the first one so i'll be doing another one um, just, you know, a bunch of nice clips put together of me doing prissy things or whatever. And yeah, I think that's about it. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, uh, I have a bit of a problem. And that problem is with two-dimensional characters ruining my Tekken. <laughs> uh, that's one way to put it. Um, yeah, I have a bit of an issue when it comes to 2D. I think everyone is with an issue when it comes to 2D characters. I'm making this sound way more dramatic than it is, by the way. Um, main main point here is I'm just kind of tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tired of, you know, just seeing, I guess seeing this. You know, like these combos, like I feel like we've seen, like I feel like every single day I'm opening Twitter now and I'm just seeing another really, really, really long Akuma combo. And, you know, it was one touch and, you know, the Akuma was almost dead. But he made a comeback and, you know, here we go. He he killed him. Great. You know, he killed him off an unseeable low or he killed him off jumping over a mid or jumping over a high because that's happened to me before. Um, and it's it, at this point, I just feel it's really jarring, in my opinion. It's something that I think has really lost its novelty over time. I mean, even back when Punko was doing it back in like evo was it 2017 2016 or something like just bodying everyone with akuma because he was legit broken back then um i've just not been i've not been a huge fan of it like it's been cool there have been times where like oh that combo was cool and you know that you know uh oki into you know blah 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 that, that stuff was cool but now I feel like we're getting to a point where I'm 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 sick of it. <laughs> I'm just kind of sick of it, and I know a lot of other people are too. Um, I guess like my my main issue with it is like there's no real contingency plan when it comes with these two Ds in general, right? Um, like the thing about Tekken, I talked about this a while ago on a stream, and I think I have a video coming up about it. it might be up now. I don't know yet. Um, I talked about this a while ago um, in that in Tekken, there's kind of always Tekken's kind of in the game where there's like an answer for everything, right? Like Warang, you don't want to take a mix between down three, four or just frame Scarra kit. You use movement to mitigate that. Um, Nina, like a lot of her strings, you're really annoying to deal with, really annoying on block. You use movement to mitigate that. 
um, certain strings in the game, like, you know, Lay's, Lay's Razor Rush, you know, certain characters have specific ways to just deal with it completely. Um, but when it comes to these 2D characters, Akuma, Geese, and Eliza, you don't really have that, like, at all. There's no, there's no real option to do, to take care of everything that's really going to be hurting you, right? Um, obviously, the, the famous option is just backdash. Um, you don't get down three clean hit by Akuma. Um, well, I think when it comes... Sorry, that was just like some soaring noise coming from outside my house and it really scared me. <laughs> um, when it comes to like the, the 2D characters in general, you don't have like that. You don't have the answers to deal with them 100% right. You can deal with like 70% of them, but there's still going to be that one option that is going to be what's killing you in the end. Perfect example is... There's that soaring again. I don't know why it's being picked up by Mike. Anyway, um, first time is Akuma, right? His demon flip. Use, you know, most characters' anti air is going to be a jab. You know, Akuma's in the air, you jab him, you float him out, and then you do your uh, you do your uh, float combo. But um, for certain, or well, at least for, for, like, Akuma has an option that literally beats jab. You know, his the demon palm from demon flip will literally beat a jab then you sit in a situation where it's like okay so when he's in the end it's just legit a mix-up it's legit just i have to start guessing like yes you can use movement to beat most options but if you're literally just looking to anti and you've got the you you made the right reaction you're going to get knocked down for it and then you have geese and i feel like the issue with geese is I mean, the same with the Kuma, it's that like one touch and he kills you, but Geese can also play Tekken very well. So with him just being a solid all-round character, built in with the meter and one touch, one standing two and you're dead. And I think the thing that's worse about Geese as well is like for him, the execution isn't even that hard. Like, I think if you give me 10 minutes, a bottle of Red Bull and the motivation, <laughs> like that standing two death combo is pretty much... I, I, I don't think it's that hard to pull off to be honest um like at least with Akuma there's the execution barrier but I think with Geese it's it's even more of a of a problem um I think Eliza's also I think Eliza's the the least annoying of the three but she is still a problem um unseeable low wall splat her get her approach tool uh, she has good Tekken tools as well, a very good down forward one. Uh, standing for 13 frame high homing counter hit launcher, 13 frame punish, natural knockdown. Uh, back one two is kind of absurd now because the second hit. So before back one two used to be kind of trash because there were times where the first hit would hit and the second hit would just randomly whiff. Um, but now it's in a position where if the first hit misses the second hit's going to follow you and track you and then you're getting launched for it when you know you made the first hit with you, you you supposedly done your job but you're still getting launched for it i i, I <sighs> making this sound like one that's really emotional this isn't like i'm <laughs> i'm not as upset as i sound by this right um i'm just kind of tired of just like seeing these combos over and over and seeing eliza win off a of a unseeable low wall splat seeing geese win off a standing two and then people will be like ah oh, wow the combo wow you know and it's like but it's like like we've it's just tired like we've seen this a lot now right I feel like we see this every day at this point i feel like the novelty novelty is definitely worn off and um we just need to i don't know get these 2ds out of game i don't know <laughs> just get rid of it <laughs> get rid of them um but like, I think that they were great additions. I think they did a good job of putting the 2Ds into Tekken, don't get me wrong. I feel like Akuma and Geese, um, as guest characters from different styles, um, they look very nice. They they play very well, but I think it's I think it's just so tiring to see now. Um and if we go back to like how you know, in Tekken, there's always been like, there's always like an answer for things. I think that's the reason why Lee Ray and Fukum are also so annoying. Is because, like I said before, in Tekken, there's been answers. There's always an answer to deal with everything. But when it comes to like Lee Ray and Fukum, you don't have that as well, right? Like, 
down 3-2 from Leroy is like Faring's down 3-4 and crack because it's gonna tr it tracks very well. Faring's down 3-4 doesn't track. That's why um you know that's why that's how you mitigate the the risk of the mix-up. With Leroy there's no there's no mitigation. Down three to four is going sorry, down three two will track you both ways. His hell sweep legit homing and then his mids are tracking you very well and then <laughs> obviously once down three two as well like you're in the mix um and then he has a homing low out of hermit stance is only minus 13 um counter hit launcher as well forgot to mention that and then for kumram said this many times before standing three down forward one the moment those long range 13 frame mids hit you you are in the mix and if you want to try and mash your way out of it, which for some for some of the options you're supposed to be doing, you're going to get counter hit launched by down 4, 1, 2. And by 3, 4, you're getting counter hit, knocked down. And if you're using rage, rage drive. If you're on floor break, break the floor, full combo. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's just so much nonsense that has come from those two characters. And I think it also applies to the 2Ds as well. Um, but I think, I think, I feel like the Tekken 7 balance need do know that these, that these kinds of things are issues that like Leroy was purposely, we all know this, Leroy purposely came out broken. I think for Kumram, I've said this before, was an accident. He wasn't supposed to be able to move like this. Um, but even still, they did give him that standing through and that down forward one. But they have said more all times that they're going to be nerfing this character anyway. Um, and I think they know 2Ds are a problem as well. And 2Ds are controversial because every single season 2Ds will get nerfed. Um, and even when people said Eliza was bad, like I think on that as well, I think the only reason people said Eliza was bad was because she couldn't do what Akuma was doing. Because her down three didn't do the same thing Akuma was doing. I think people were like, Eliza's bad. Why can't she do this? But anyway, um, even when people said Eliza was bad, um, I think the reason they were so skeptical to nerf her was because she was a 2D. And they they knew that buffing 2Ds would always be controversial. Try that again. <laughs> they knew that buffing 2Ds would always be controversial. And when they did finally buff Eliza, Moon Glide 4 happens, <laughs> and it just becomes really annoying to play against. You know, the back one two tracking buff becomes overtuned, right? To the point where you the first hit wisp, but the second hit is is out to get you. So, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this. I guess this was a rant video, I guess. Um, for the calmest rant video you ever hear in your life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's all from me. Um, so yeah, please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, make sure to um, let me know if you like this new format of video of commentary where, you know, you just have gameplay here and um, you just have the voice. You don't have to see the face. You just get the voice. Um, it's something I, I just want to experiment with different styles of videos over the next few uh, weeks and months as I keep growing. I think it's really nice. Um, I want to work on the editing tricks. Um, I want to get better making thumbnails and stuff. So yeah, I'm just, um, I'm always learning. You know, every day is a journey. Every day is a learning opportunity. Um, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. I'll catch you guys in the next video.